practice. And starting next Friday, she can be seen in the new film Sugar and Spice. Please welcome Marla Sokoloff. <laughs> to have you here we uh you know what's weird is that i when i've seen you on the show they're always changing the color of your hair drastically it's like my first time in a long time being like normal with my hair you know i'd have never had normal hair what's it like <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's it's such you know you've had pink you've had blue purple i've had a lot and then you have to sort of wear that around you can't like wash it off at the end of the day no, right it's, it's there so when i'm you know just being a normal person i have pink hair so that's hard well, so people make assumptions about you, probably. You um, know? yeah. You know, people that don't really know me probably think I'm like some punk rock girl or something, so it's right, hard. Right, right. Or that you're going to sell them some drugs or something like that. <laughs> exactly. And nothing could be further than the truth. No, I don't sell drugs. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I like that I got you around to having to say that. <laughs> now I'll use that clip out of context. Uh, you'll get in a lot of trouble. Uh, now, when you first appeared on The Practice, people really didn't like your character at first, right? No, they didn't. What, what happened? Well, you know, this is like a serious show and my... I forgot to put my mic on, didn't I? Oh, you're not wearing a mic right now? Does this thing work? Can she use this thing or should I should attach I that mic to her? <laughs> Maybe, let me put it on. Uh. You want to? More like the creepy old man. I will do it for you. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, looks like you took care of it just fine. Yeah, no, I got it under control. <sighs> Thanks. Um. So no one heard what you were first talking about up front. It's just all a mystery now. We should subtitle the whole it. The thing actually, is we, just screwed, right? Oh, <laughs> no, no, not at all. We'll keep um, talking. What you mentioned were we talking about? At I top, you came out, no one heard at home, but you said, God, you're a good-looking in person. Uh, uh, so much man. Um, you talked for a while about your God, and then I said, please, please, you don't have your mic on. Right. That's pretty much what happened. You saw it. Exactly what happened. That's exactly what happened. <laughs> uh, but they didn't like your character at first, no, right? No, because you know it's a serious show. My character was like very annoying, very bossy, and it really pissed off the viewers. They weren't into me. Now, at how all. did you find out? Who told you? Oh, they did. They weren't, you know, shy about it or quiet at all. I got, you know, hate mail, and people would come up to me in the malls and just be like, "Every time you're on that show, I throw my remote at you. I hate you." You know, you, it's such a good show, you just ruined it. Like, they weren't, they weren't so mean so much, to me. So much for your nice trip to the mall. Yeah, I know. I'm just like, I'm just gosh. here to get an orange Julius. Okay, Leave no me more alone. <laughs> Leave me alone. But now people really like you. It just, it was a, it was a, a strong dose probably at first. They don't like new things. And yeah. then they get to like it's you. It's become more like a love-hate relationship, you know, mm -hmm. between me and America. Yeah, but it all worked out. Yeah. Uh, and you met your boyfriend? working not on the show but on a movie on a movie that... yeah called whatever it takes i met him on that and what's that like i mean i you know it must be did you know right away that you like this guy oh, it must yeah. be weird to okay did you, you start know, dating while you were working on the movie kind of i mean we were like really secretive about it and he didn't really want to date me because he thought it was you know not professional of us but he gave in <laughs> he gave in he did that's nice so what what you know how did you know that you liked this guy what kind of scenes did you have together well, you know, he had this one scene where he was, like, pretty much naked. He was wearing this leopard print G-string, and how do you not, you know? Like a guy in leopard print, you know, there's just something so sexy. It's what I wear. I am enjoying them. I know. I'm wearing it. one now. Um, <laughs> it helps for the interviewing. Yeah, uh, no, it is. Um, but, uh, so wait, he's wearing a leopard string, leopard print G-string. G-string, yeah. And, 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 and you have a scene with him? In yeah, that? I, my character has him all tied up, and I rub him with oil. What movie is this? <laughs> to call just so I should know more for the interview uh, we're on the video is I'm, it? I'm promoting the wrong movie but it's called whatever it takes right I like to get people to promote movies that came out like two yeah, years ago exactly like four and, people and turn it. off their mics occasionally <laughs> um, but that's nice and uh, is, is it someone we know this this guy you're going out with or you like to um, say yeah well no his name's James Franco you guys will all know him soon he's on freaks and, well he was on freaks and geeks but he's doing like the James Dean movie and spider-man he's gonna be big he's gonna be in the new spider-man movie yeah oh have you seen him like have you hung out with him when he's in his Spider-Man outfit? Oh, he's not Spider-Man. Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man. Oh, okay. There you go. We have a Tobey Maguire fan here. <laughs> Seize her! Um, 
We've been trying to flush her out for weeks. <laughs> Finally, we have you. Um, I understand that you're very happy to be on with, with Julia Stiles. Yeah, I've always really liked her. You know, there's so many young actors that I could honestly say are, like, you know, really talented because I'm so critical, but I've always been a fan. Oh, thanks. Did you? Thanks. That's nice. Did you ever, uh, did you ever write Julia a fan letter? Yeah, you got him, right? <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, I did. I, I wrote you back. You didn't get that? I wrote a signed autograph. No, and I didn't. <clears throat> you'll be getting my letter. <laughs> Very soon, yeah. Um, my lawyers will be writing to you yeah, soon. Yeah, you'll be hearing uh -huh. from me. It's not a package with a bomb in it, is it? <laughs> no. no. I did have a guy, I was at the Knicks game yesterday. I was actually there when that fight broke out. And this guy came up to me during a timeout and he was like, Conan, didn't you get my letter? <laughs> he never said who he was. <laughs> You know what the letter said? He gave me no information. He's like, I wrote you a letter. You never, you never wrote back. I mean, didn't you get it? Oh, I'm getting out of here. And walked away. What? Yeah. What's wrong with people? I don't know. They're I know. crazy. I know. They really are. So, um, did you ever write fan letters to anybody? Like, who did you write a fan letter to? You know to? what? I did write a fan letter once to Fred Savage. And he never wrote me back. <laughs> That's but funny. Like, That's who I wrote my fan letter you to. Did. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Dear I was Fred, like, why don't you write back? <laughs> I was like nine, so I know people are gonna make fun of me like, Marla, come on, you know, you're writing fan mail and stuff, but I was nine, so it's justified, I think. Yeah, but right? also, do they don't, I, I can't write back individually. Did you get like a, you know, a, uh, did you no, get a, a photo no, back nothing. or anything? I got nothing from Fred. <laughs> okay, well, he I'll find out. no love. I'll find out what happened. Okay, please I'll do. I'll take care of it. Sugar and Spice. Yeah. This but... movie that you're promoting now. Uh, yeah, not whatever it takes. I'm promoting Sugar and Spice. <laughs> uh, let's talk more about the movie two years ago. No, Sugar and Spice, you play a cheerleader in this movie. Tell us a little bit about the movie. Um, it's about these cheerleaders that rob a bank mm -hmm. and because um, the head cheerleader gets pregnant. And I'm the... Um, this same old story you know, again. It's just like... I'm sick of cheerleaders robbing bank movies. <laughs> Hollywood, something new, please. <laughs> Um, and I'm the head of the B squad. I'm like this, you know, bitchy, overachieving chick. So I hate the A squad and I try to destroy them. Right. But you know what? I heard that you're not really aware, but you're in the movie. I'm in the movie? There is a girl who is obsessed with Conan O'Brien and you're just throughout the whole movie. That's she... part of the plot that there's yeah. a girl who's obsessed with Conan O'Brien? Uh-huh. <laughs> and she has... Two hundred and ten random audience members trying to make me feel better. It's plausible. <laughs> nudge, nudge, clap for him. Come on. He's starting to cry. It's true. Really? She has um, a picture of Conan on her underwear. Yeah. And she has to go to the school shrink to explain her sex dreams about you. Really? It's very hot. I am definitely seeing this movie. <laughs> What if I go and see it and the whole audience is like, not realistic! <laughs> Boo! <laughs> and I'm sitting there eating popcorn tears. Just yeah. to... <laughs> I think it's realistic! No, it's not! All right! <laughs> well, I gotta see this movie now. Yeah, definitely. Uh, do they say my name correctly, Conan? Or oh, is it Conan, like Regis oh, says it? <laughs> hey, Conan! How are you, Conan? <laughs> I don't know, Regis. It's okay. uh, the Regis always calls me by my character name whenever I go on his show, so don't feel so bad. At least he knows your Regis, real name. He's overworked, yeah. <laughs> the, uh, the practice is on Sunday nights at 10 on ABC, and Sugar and Spice, the movie which is all about me, opens <laughs> next Friday, so go check it out. And uh, thanks so much for being thanks here. Thanks for having me. Great to have you. All right, everybody. Mala Sokolov. We'll be right back with Lincoln Park. Stick around.